Excuse me, when does the noon train from the Crystal Empire arrive? Uh, noon? Huh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a little excited because my friend Sunburst is coming. He's my oldest friend. I mean, we've known each other practically forever. We have tons in common. We both love magic and games and jokes. Everything, really. Now that I think about it, there isn't a pony in all of Equestria I have more in common with. Starlight? Sunburst! You made it! Of course! I've been looking forward to this visit for a long time. Whoa, how long are you staying? Uh, just a little reading for the train. <laughs> Same old Sunburst. It's gonna be so great spending time together, just like old times. You and me doing the stuff we like, games, magic... Antiquing. What? Antiquing. You know I like antiquing. You do? Um, of course. Historical knickknacks, ancient relics... Oh, you are so lucky. Ponyville is antique central. It is? How have we never talked about this? We are going antiquing and you are gonna love it. Okay, let's drop your stuff off at the castle first. Sure. Only, uh, we may need to make a few trips. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? This is so great! Who knew I'd be the one showing you the cool sights of Ponyville? I'm a little surprised myself. Wow! What a difference between the hoof-molded bricks and the extruded ones, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh! And check out all these chandeliers! Sometimes the crystals have magical properties. Oh, oh, that's cool. Uh, how do you... Sunburst! I'm so glad you're here! In the antique store? In Ponyville! Starlight's really been looking forward to your visit. Though I'm glad you're in the antique store, too. I'm usually the only one. <laughs> That's crazy! Who doesn't like antiquing, right? <laughs> right! Ooh, look! An ancient map of Equestria made by the mighty Helm! Without the help of Unicorn Magic or Pegasus Flight, the Earth Ponies of the Mighty Helm were able to map the entire coast of Equestria. Cool! don't have to pretend to like all this stuff. What? No! I do like it! I mean, if you like it, I like it. Besides, we've almost looked at everything, right? Oh, wow! You have got to see the Saddle Arabian vanity! This shop looked a lot smaller from the outside. Did you 
see this Palaminian letter opener? Well, that goes well with this ancient phoenix feather quill. We could write to each other. Pen pals! <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like this old-timey barrel. Actually, the stuff I bought is inside the barrel, but I can't wait to see what it is. Wait, you don't know what you bought? Mm -mm, it's a blind buy. Sometimes shops get too busy to go through everything, so they load up a box or barrel and sell it without knowing what's inside. Buying one is sort of like a treasure hunt. Once I found a first edition history of Equestria in the original old Ponish. Flight for certain flight. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old Ponish saying, reward prefers risk. Uh, it loses something in the translation. Mm. <laughs> mm. Why don't we look through this stuff later? Yeah, what do you want to do, Starlight? Well, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but... <gasps> Is this... Dragon Pit! I remember that game. You two used to play it? <laughs> Pretty much any time we weren't working on magic. I can't believe you found a copy. Sunburst would get so excited whenever his dragon got trapped, he knocked the whole board over. That's adorable. Uh, well, it's an exciting game, but I have a little more control over my horn now. Uh-oh, some pony's dragon's gonna get trapped. Doesn't seem so exciting to me. I guess it is adorable. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your visit so far. Are you kidding? I mean, first antiquing, and then spending time with Twilight? Oh, yeah. She's pretty great. Right? I mean, I know she's a princess, but I never thought she'd be so fun to just hang out with. Well, she is the princess of friendship. <laughs> right. I guess that makes sense. So... Tomorrow, I thought... I suppose I'm just surprised at how well we get along. I don't have much in common with most ponies. You two are pretty similar. I don't know many ponies who are fluent in old ponish. Exactly! Oh, I probably have more in common with Twilight than any pony in Equestria. Right. Uh, anyway, I better get some sleep. Uh, Ponyville might be small, but there's a lot to do. Maybe we should ask Twilight what she recommends we see. Um, sure. Great. Good night, Starlight. Uh, good night. Knock, knock! Uh, ah! Oh, hi, Starlight. Is it morning already? Yep. Maybe a bit early, but like you said, there's a lot to see in Ponyville. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Plus, I couldn't really sleep. I just kept thinking about all the stuff we have in common and how much fun we'll have today. Great. Uh, is Twilight up yet? Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure she's busy with princess stuff today. Oh. Uh. But I've got a full day of stuff planned. Just you and me. <laughs> Uh, great! Um, would you mind turning around or preferably leaving the room so I could get changed? Oh, right! I'm sorry. Uh, one genuine Sweet Apple Acres apple tree. Because we used to drink so much apple juice as foals? Uh, I don't remember that. Really? I mean, it was all we drank. Uh, here, try an apple. I bet that'll jog your memory. <laughs> oh! Ow! Trixie, what are you doing here? <gasps> I often seek the privacy of the orchard to practice new feats of amazement. And also, I fell asleep. Oh, well, Sunburst and I were just catching up, so... <gasps> I don't suppose the two of you want to see a never-before-witnessed magical marvel? Sure! 
Why not? Behold, visiting friend from Starlight's past, and be amazed by the great and powerful and current best friend of Starlight, Jorixie! this trick. There's a special link, but I could never hold the chain up long enough to find it. Well, if I could do magic like that, I'd have a whole slew of new tricks at my disposal. I always liked close-up magic, because I knew I could do it if I just practiced enough. much Sunburst and I had in common. Gee, I don't know. I know Trixie's magic is, you know, fun, but the mirror pool is actual magic. Whoa, Th this place is pure pony lore. Yep. I mean, it's supposed to be all dangerous, and I guess I shouldn't have broken the seal to get in, but you wanted to see the sights of Ponyville, right? So, Pinkie Pie just dove in and made copies of herself? Mm-hmm. If we made copies of ourselves, we could get a year's worth of hanging out over in one day. And not that we would. Do you hear that? Oh, I hope it's not a leftover Pinkie Pie. Not exactly. Maud, how did you get in here? This cavern's actually connected to mine. Uh, what are you doing? Tapping. Maud isn't super chatty. I mean, you and I could sit around and talk all day, but she looks pretty busy. Are you taking some kind of core sample? Not exactly. I'm uncovering this section of strata for closer study. You might want to step back. I'm studying this area's metamorphic. Foliation. Is this nice, phyllite, or slate? Wow, the pressure above must be pretty uniform to get the planar fabric to be this consistent. You know about geology? Eh, I dabble. For example, by the speleothems in this cave, I kind of figured there was another way out. Because of the calcite deposits. <sighs> Starlight? Where's Sunburst? Hmm, doing stage magic with Trixie, studying new rocks with Maud. You are here, so I guess you two aren't off translating some ancient old Ponish text. What are you talking about? Why would Sunburst be doing any of that? I thought he came to Ponyville to see you. I thought so too, but it hasn't worked out that way. When we were foals, we had more in common than any two ponies in Equestria. But now, it seems like he's got more in common with my friends than he does with me. Oh, every pony changes. But that doesn't mean there aren't still things you both like. You both love magic, right? Magic? Sure, you're really good at it. And Sunburst practically knows every spell that ever was. You're right! The 
Thanks, Twilight. You're the best. <laughs> I try. Starlight? What happened? Maude and I found some fascinating sedimentary stratum, but when I turned to show you, you were gone. Maude does have a way of making rocks really interesting, but I wanted to work on something a little more us. What's this? Just a little something I made up. Whoa! You made up this spell? Just now? Yeah. than just you and me playing this game when we were fools, right? Starlight. Do you want to be red or blue? Starlight! I don't want to play the game at all! What's going on in here? Nothing. I was trying to have fun doing the one thing I thought we still had in common. But I guess we don't even have that anymore. I don't understand. Starlight and I have known each other since we were foals, but that doesn't mean we have to be foals to hang out. Uh, Starlight does have a tendency to overdo. I mean, it is surprising how well I get along with all of her friends, but she and I still have tons in common. Maybe you just need to remind her what those things are. That's it! That's exactly what I'll do! Uh, right after I think of them. Uh-oh. Obviously, you and I hit it up. I am quite impressive. <laughs> and we share a love for prestidigitation. You're right! And Starlight and I share a lot of things, too. I just need to think of them. What else do you guys have in common? Well, we both made not so great choices in the past. And we're self conscious about every pony judging us, even though we've both changed and are trying hard to be better. Yeah, we don't really have that. I can think of something you have in common. You're both. Poor practice audiences. Starlight and I don't really have a lot in common, other than feeling different from most ponies. And comedy. Comedy? I'm very funny. Was that a joke? No. Well, it's more than I can think of that she and I have in common. We don't really spend that much time talking about that, though. Mostly we're just comfortable around each other. <sighs> we used to be. We did everything together. But now I'm wondering if we've spent so much time apart that we don't connect over anything anymore. And if we can't connect over anything, then maybe we're not even friends. Well, at least it's not serious. That was a joke. <sighs> I appreciate you trying to help, Twilight. But it seems pretty clear that Sunburst and I have grown apart. I understand. But I feel like that only happens if you both let it. You still want to be friends, right? I created a spell so we could relive playing a game in our childhood home. And bodies. Right. I'm just not sure Sunburst wants to stay friends, too. I think you might be surprised. Prepare yourself. For the new and improved Dragon Pit! We had to take out a few spaces to get it to fit, but you hardly miss them. Maud made the dice. Pumice is the lightest igneous rock. It seemed the best choice. And I added the special effects. <laughs> There's nothing like a little well-placed magic smoke. 
looks like some pony's dragon is gonna get trapped. I thought you didn't want to play this game. Well, I didn't want to pretend to be a foal, but I know you wanted to play. I thought it'd be fun to play a version big enough for full-grown ponies. What do you think? Fun, right? Actually, it's missing something. <laughs> now it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I got so worried about us not having anything in common. Yeah, I kind of think it doesn't matter as long as we enjoy each other's company. And that game was certainly enjoyable. What made it even better was getting to play it with all my friends. See you soon? You bet. I want to hear if you find anything interesting in that barrel. Trust me, Starlight. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>